good merry morning to you it is monday it's quite late actually it's 22 11. i'm waiting for my friend emma to get here because this morning we're going to be filming um a lush haul because lush have sent me all the halloween stuff i'm just moving this oh by the way <laughs> how much do you love this hello i'm a pumpkin baby it's a maternity top from asos i freaking love it um yeah, so I'm basically just getting organised to film with her. Um, I've done a little bit of writing this morning, but not much. I'm really behind and I'm starting to get a little bit stressed about that. And by a little bit, I mean like fucking loads stressed about that. Um, yes, and there we are. Shush, quiet true. Um, that's the morning for you. Oh my God, my hair is quite large. I've tried to go a bit like fun on the old makeup today i'm feeling really positive last week monday to sunday positive days is there any junk in the background that i don't want you to see no that's fine um really positive days it's the first full seven day week i've had in the whole pregnancy where i've not had a day where i felt really really down and emotional and hormonal and just bad <laughs> so i'm hoping that this is one of those weeks as well um i'm not going to like be unrealistic and think oh i'm fixed everything's great but Last week was great and I'm feeling so much more myself. I'm interested in clothes and makeup again. I want to go out and see people. Just feeling really good. So, fingers crossed that continues. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? Are you well? Are you well? Are you purring? Oh, oh, you're gonna, okay, bye. And good morning to you. I can see that you're busy with your tail. Are you trying to catch your tail? Uh-oh. Here goes brother. Yes. Guess who's here? Here again. Yes, I'm here. Emma, yes, I'm right, here. Emma I've got something oh. for you. You hold this in anticipation. Do I need my eyes closed? Uh, yeah. All the way from Primark Dublin. <laughs> oh my God. It's, it's, big, a, it's bloody huge. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out, unbox it. Thank you very much for the promo. Oh my team. god. Oh my god. I've not seen one in the flesh. Yes. Oh my god, what if I drop that face? It's big, isn't it? Look, it let me get the Mrs. It. Potts. Really I mean the chip compared to it. But it's cute because that's what it would be like. That is. Oh, mm. oh my god, it's gonna look so nice in my kitchen. I love, love it. Living. Are you gonna oh make god, tea in it? So much no, I'm never gonna make tea in it. That's so much nicer than I thought it was. Oh. Mm. A bit weird. A bit weird, but I like it. That's okay. I'm about to film my outfit because I'm doing a little outfit diary. How lovely is this backdrop? Would you please look at it? Have you ever seen oh, a backdrop with such colour as something, as something in the wind? Oh, it's a bit wet, a bit wet, a bit wet. This is exactly why Liam is the man of my dreams. <laughs> if a man made you this every day, would he be the man of your dreams? Yeah, uh, yeah. Steven, no. Steven's the man of my dreams. Does he make you food all the time? Uh, yeah. This one does up here. Just make some marmot and toast. Oh, that'll do. That'll yeah. Do. Did you get that shot? You should do it again. Well, that's <laughs> I'm just setting up the camera. <laughs> And Emma's like there, like taking selfies with a box of teapot. Shut up! <laughs> Lovely Emma is going. Oh dear, is going home now because she has to go and collect her Kinder eggs. Don't I do. Her little Kinders. Oh, that's my um, pops. We are. Oh yeah, you're welcome. Do you want to see how the bath bomb went? I'll show you. So this was Monsters Ball, and it turned out this like really, really, really dark colour. We didn't film this for the main channel video, so this is an exclusive. Oh, well, man. it's this one here. This one goes like that. Would you Adam and Eve it? Over the weekend, I was left alone all day, so I did some online ordering, and I'm gonna open it all now. Most of this stuff is for the babe. Um, ooh -wee. Oh my God. It's an avalanche, it's an avalanche. Let's open this stuff that's fallen on my back first, shall we? We have a jumbo box of size one nappies. These are pampers. Have I got nappies or have I got wipes? I hope I've got nappies. 
I'm gonna open up to see how big a size one nappy is. That is so tiny. Little baby. I went a bit crazy on Amazon for various things. Amazon gets me. I'll link everything I've got below if you wanna get it yourself. Some goodies in here. So, um, a absolutely giant roll of twine. How much is this? This is like loads and loads of meters. 658 feet of red twine. So I bought this for Christmas wrapping because I like to wrap things in brown paper and then wrap twine around them. And the twine you get in shops, you get like a couple of meters for a couple of pounds. And this I think was not anywhere near that and you just like that's gonna last me forever um and i also bought all these gift tags because in gold little brown gift tags with hearts on and in gold i'm gonna write people's names and it comes with the string to tie them on i like the rustic look and then where should i put packaging floor very excitingly I bought Liam and I an electric toothbrush. This was on offer and it was down loads. It was really, really, I, I think it was about, I don't know, but basically there's a lot of money off. And I've seen Mrs. Meldrum was talking about electric toothbrush. I don't know if it is this one or not, but she was like, oh, it's loads of money off on Amazon. And then I saw this on like the today's deals. I'll link it. I don't know if it will still be on the deals thing, but I'll link it anyway. I bought one for us each so that we can have pearly white. Um, and then I bought the gold stamp and what are you? Oh, so I bought a gold stamp because I bought a stamp that says Merry Christmas to stamp on those little thingy my bobbies, the little um, labels. I've also bought some tiny firefly like tiny firefly, fi tiny firefly lights on a bendy wire, multicolored. Darcy said she wanted rainbow lights in her bedroom. Oh, that's cute. So she's going to have rainbow lights. That was really, really, really cheap. I was like, I think it's like around the two pound mark. I was like, great, that'll do. And I have also bought a tiny book of calm as a little stocking filler for my auntie Ju uh, Jackie. I must admit, I thought it was gonna be a full size book, but that's okay. A little book of calm and in it, it has little quotes for every day. Next box. This is a bottle steriliser. I had this exact same one with Darcy. I wish I'd kept things, but I didn't think I'd have more. Um, and basically, you just put all the bottles in this thing here. You put a little bit of water in the bottom, and then you put it in the microwave for a set amount of time, and it just does it, and it's so easy. It takes two minutes, um, and it effectively kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Oh, I should probably talk now about this, because I know there'll be comments about it. There will be some people in the comments that are going to be like, oh my god, why are you buying that? Aren't you going to exclusively breastfeed? Because breastfeeding and bottle feeding is such a hot topic. Um, I'm being realistic with myself. With Darcy, I breastfed for a week and then couldn't do it. And I know a lot of people will be like, oh, you could have done it. You should have tried harder. We were both hospitalised because we had such problems with it. Um, I lost a lot of blood in delivery and then just could not make the milk up. And... I just got very down about it and it was just really not a good time for us at all. So with this baby, I'm just being realistic. I'm gonna, if breastfeeding happens, then great. And if it doesn't happen, then I'm gonna have all the stuff ready to go, all the bottles and the sterilizers, and I won't, I won't feel, I won't feel guilty about it like this time because I spent so much of my time feeling like racked with guilt for being this like disgusting, terrible mother. And then she turned out all right, so. That's what I'm doing. I'm aware that this is gonna be an ongoing topic in the comments, but there we are. It's a bottle steriliser. This one is heavy. I think this will be wipes. These are wipes for cleaning baby's bottom after they've used a nappy. Um, I didn't use these with Darcy. I used like Huggies or Pampers or just whatever I bought at the time. Um, but I've heard great things about these because they're chemical free. 99.9% .9 water, 0.1% fruit extract, um, National Eczema Association accepted, Allergy UK friendly product. So I was like, yeah, get those. Mega value pack, 720 wipes. Woo! And that is, that's the heaviest of the boxes. We'll go for this little Amazon one. 
sounds breakable. So I've bought some things for post birth to get ready for postpartum. And I did some research and apparently this is good. It's the Aquarius Refresher B Day. Um, and this is, might be a bit TMI for some people. So I had um, a vaginal birth with Darcy and that first wee wee you do after you've had the baby, those first few wee wees, my God, do they sting. They'll be like mothers up and down the country being like, <laughs> yes. So apparently, I didn't use this last time, I just sort of like grinned and bared it because it wasn't grinning, it was more like, like gripping the hand towel um, and weeing at the same time into a toilet, obviously. You fill this with water and then you can just put it here and like, as you're weeing, you can squirt water on your area and dilute the discomfort. Um, I'm gonna do a whole video on basically like fanny prep <laughs> that I'm doing for this. Um, I'm aiming for a natural delivery. Um, if I have a cesarean, then I won't use that, will I? <laughs> um, but yes, I'll pop that in the bathroom. Amazon, more Amazon. What's in the box? It's Cactus Fairy Lights. I bought these as a Christmas present for someone. They look like that. Jolly good. I also bought this book, A 1950s Mother Bringing a Baby in the 1950s, because I thought that would be really interesting. I saw someone do a video about what life in the 1950s. I thought, give that a read just for, for jollies. Ooh, I'm excited, I've seen this beat. Okay, this is my bedding. <laughs> my Christmas bedding that I bought looks like this. Elves, thought that was a bit fun. And then I also bought Darcy Vintage Kittens for her bedding, look that up. Vintage Kittens, if you will. Um, and I also bought the baby two fitted Jersey cot sheets to go on her bed. Ooh. So I bought a couple of hooded towels, three hooded towels for £7.50. Oh, they feel soft. To give them a little wash and they'll be ready. And then this, I bought a change mat. I've actually also bought, oh, it's not as sturdy as I'd have thought. It might sturdy up once it's been out of the box for a while. Um, I've got some on the way from Mother Care as well. When I had Darcy, I had one upstairs and one downstairs, and it was really, really handy to work like that. So that's basically what I'm doing for this house as well, having um, one downstairs, a couple upstairs. But yeah, just thought that was a fun pattern. Stars. Why? What have I bought that deserves to be wrapped like this? I wonder what something and something. Oh my goodness, it's like, Pass the parcel. Bloody hell, what is it? <laughs> it's a stag head. Um, it's some antlers for £15 that I'm going to put in my new lounge. <laughs> I've stocked her on socks. Tiny little sucky socks for babe. I would like some ones with frills on as well, but I've stocked up on these for now because they're really cheap. And she's got lots of leggings, so I thought she'll need some socks for her little footsies. Um, some muslin squares. There's four in this pack, and I thought they all looked pretty good. 375, four, amazing. And also these bibs, like neckerchief bibs, made with love. Mm, look nice. Monsoon. I am having a photo shoot with Linda Baglacker on Sunday. And so a lot of the props for that are being sent here. Um, I'm having one of my own, and she's gonna potentially share those pictures. And then also one with Darcy, with, and those pictures are just for me. Um, and I am going to be Mother Earth. You know, some pregnant and stuff. So I've brought Darcy this little 
headband to go with her costume. You can't really see it. Um, it's a little butterfly. But I'll have to put that to one side for the shoot. Some more tiny fairy lights. <laughs> this is the little Merry Christmas stamp to go with the ink that I bought. This is a little cheeky PR package, I think. Ooh, some biscuits. A how to be champion biscuit or something else in there. How to be champion by Sarah McMillan. Bloody love that woman. She is hilarious. So this is her new book, Sarah McMillan's How to be champion, an autobiography. Hello Louise, thank you so much for agreeing to read my book. She messaged me on Twitter, I was like, yes, I really hope you like it, and if you do, I'd be so grateful if you could tweet about it, Facebook it, or mention it on Instagram, if that's where you play. I'm mentioning it in a video. Um, by the way, thank you, by the way, thank you, please find and close some fancy biscuits, a bit especially made. Uh, la 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 la. Alrighty. Um, well, Sarah, here you are. This, if you're interested in this book, I will leave a link to it below. Who has, oh, she's had lots of good, lots of good, like, recommendations. She said Alan Carr, Kathy Burke, Frank Skinner, Joe Brown, Philip Schofield, and Dawn French. If that doesn't wet your whistle, I don't know what will. And that completes our lengthy unboxing segment. I will leave it here for today because tonight we're going to Ikea with Doodles to buy a cot for the baby. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow or Wednesday. bye good morning it's wednesday and as you can see we have the cot up i can't remember if i showed it yesterday or not so i'll show it to you now um it is from snooze pod snooze pod or snooze pod and you can actually unzip the sides and then securely it's got straps hang on um here are all the straps and stuff you can attach it to the side of your bed so that you can safely co-sleep. You can also take this off, which is pretty cool. So if I want to take this downstairs, um, for when the baby wants to sleep downstairs, I can. But the thing I wanted to show you, which was the cutest, is I found this. I put this and this in here. Obviously when baby's born, I'm not going to keep stuff in her cot. But I found this. That Darcy had obviously put her little tiny, tiny baby in the bed. Um, and then on the wristband, she's called it Jane. I know it says a backwards J, E and M, but that's how Darcy would write Jane. Um, and then my birthday, she's put uh, April. So Jane was born in April, um, which is funny because Darcy's middle name is Jane and she was born in April and she's put her there. So I think I'm going to leave her there until I have to take all the stuff out and wash it. Obviously I need to wash this. This is the most gorgeous, gorgeous muslin from... Aiden and Ace, that's from Mother Care. I've got some bedding from George at Asda. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously need to wash it all, but I'm just gonna leave that there for now. It's all starting to feel a bit real. Jimmy Bob Chapman is coming to play today. We are gonna film some videos, so I've like semi tidied it up, AKA shoved all the junk in that room. I've um, got a little bit more tidying up to do actually. I think we're gonna film a video on making money online. Which feels like a scary thing to talk about because my dad always taught me that it was really crass and really rude and really vulgar to talk about money. It was rude to talk about how much money you earn. It's definitely rude to ask someone else how much money they earn. Um, and it's rude to show off or boast about money in any way. Now I know, I'm out of breath, I've got so stressed out about that. <sighs> now I know that um, some people might not think that at all. Obviously it's just a matter of opinion, it's just something that I've been brought up to think that way. Um, but I'm finding increasingly I'm asked about how you make, how do you make money? Does your job make money? Or in some cases, very rudely, how much money do you make? I've been asked on national television three times how much money I make. Um, I'm never going to answer that question online because I think it's rude to ask someone that, but I mean on TV or anywhere, but. I think if it's a topic that people are really interested in, and also a lot of people want to do the same kind of thing that I'm doing and Jim's doing and a lot of other people are doing, um, I thought it might be interesting just to talk about it in like 
the most appropriate and polite way that I can without being vulgar or um, without being too much, if that makes sense. I would be really fascinated in the comments to know what do you think about talking about how much you earn. I'm not asking you what you think of YouTubers earnings or anything like that or I'm not asking you to divulge your information but do you think that it's okay to talk about that? Do you think people should ask about that? Yada yada. Interested to know. So I'm going to go and sit down and like plan some notes because I want to be thorough and I want to be careful and I want to be helpful in this video so I'm going to go and sit and plan that. Look who is here. Baby. It is Jim Hi with, there. never mind you. Never mind me. What do you think? So cute. Hi baby. That's, I'm talking to the cat, that's so not how I talk to her. So alert though, she's like, big stranger's got me, big human stranger's got me. Oh, she's very scratchy, she will down. savage you. I'm going to film a video with Jim now. Hiya. Here's that's Jim. <laughs> I'm that guy. I'm that I'm dead gay. Oh, this is a good angle, come, come. <laughs> Should we just stand like this? I'm gonna get my nipples in, isn't it? <laughs> I don't just stand like this. <laughs> ah! I'm so tall though. You are. I don't really think of myself as... I'm a tall woman. I mean, I know, I, think, I know I'm tall, but I don't really think of how tall I am until like, I get into situations like this where you can just see my nipples. Here it is, look. There's one. Boop, boop. I boop, boop. 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 But when my sister was pregnant, <clears throat> hers was, like, it was at capacity, it was nearly going to go, like, it was, it was about to pop out, and I, I couldn't even be around it. Mine's going to come out soon. Oh, we're really... <laughs> That's how I like it. Excellent. Right, that'll do. Thoughts on Sphinx cats, please, because Jim here is just telling me that his brother bought a Sphinx cat, and yeah. Jim said it looks like... His ball bag. No, well, and actually, your specific ball bag. My was specific one, although ball less bag. hairy. Oh, Jim. <laughs> With a similar sort of texture. I haven't met him yet. Or her. Him. Him. It'd be upsetting if it was a girl cat that looked like your ball bag, wouldn't it? <laughs> poor, poor the thing. ultimate insult. How do I look? You look like my ball bag. <laughs> It's much later on in the day now um, and Liam is home and is making some dinner and I'm just keeping my eye on the door because this is going to be thrilling to you. I've started a club, I've started Puzzle Club and tonight is Puzzle Club so Becky's coming round. Um, Claire was going to come but her baby's not very well so she's not going to come round. I have to shut these doors because the cats come in and savage my new sofa. I'm going to sit on my birthing ball, have a little chat with you. Um, yeah, this is puzzle night. So Becky is going to come over and we're going to do a thousand piece puzzle which I got from Amazon. Oh, this ball feels so nice to sit on. Oh, my spine likes it a lot. My spine. Um, and I'm hoping that she's going to bring the minstrel brownies that she makes. I don't really care if Becky comes or not. I mainly just want the brownies. That's not true, Becky, if you're watching. Um, it's been a nice afternoon. I've just sat upstairs and done some work. I shut my eyes for like 10 minutes, 40 minutes. Um, and Liam's making chicken cubes and mush and veg. So it's all jolly nice. And I wanted to update you because I'm not sure that I've been filming a lot this week. Ooh, it's gone very pink, very pink. Um, yeah. Ooh, that makes a sound, doesn't it? Okie dokie. Next shot will be of hopefully brownies. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you have no idea. I haven't done a puzzle for like forever. Oh. Yeah. oh my god, I said that my next shot was going to be your brownies. So that's a little intro saying I hope that you're doing brownies. Yes, Liam's got the music on. Liam's joining Puzzle Club, but he's going to pretend he's not joining Puzzle Club. But he is. Are you joining Puzzle Club? Are you joining Puzzle Club? And then... She bought the brownies. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Baby likes brownies. We've been at it a solid, how long guys, an hour? No. <laughs> 20 minutes at most. I don't know why on earth I've chosen to do this with my life. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> 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 
what, what are we doing with our lives? Um, Becky and I almost had orgasms when we put this bit together because it was just such a deep joy in our hearts. Jeannie's coming along. I've never hated anything more in my life. My eyes feel like they're burning out of my head. But Liam won't let us quit because quitters don't win and winners don't quit. And with anger out with love, eh, babe? Yeah. Bag of shit. It has taken that three is. adults with three degrees to do this. In what time is it now? It is now 11 o'clock exactly. Two hours. Got the frame. Hate it. I passionately hate it. I never want to do Puzzle Club again as long as I live. Good morning, it's Thursday and this puzzle haunts me. I just came down to get my camera actually because I've been working upstairs today and I was like, mm, I just put a couple of pieces in. Well, like a solid 10 minutes later, I'm still putting pieces in so I walked away. Um, first order of business today is laundry. Also, I just realised I left the door to the fancy lounge open. Oh dear, who snuck in? Is it the babies? Hello babies. Oh, a big stretch, a big yawn. Do you like it in here? You're not going to have this sofa for long. No. You are so cute. I love that they always want to sit together. It makes my heart feel smooshy for them. I just tried to film a main channel video and the kittens were going crazy. Just like, like running around and being absolute feline maniacs. She's gonna take you off the tripod here. Um, but it really, really put me off my game, damn it. So I hope that video is okay. It's a video about Darcy being six and all her updates and all that kind of stuff. I feel like all I did was just gush on about how much I love my babe, but you know, that's, that's the point of being a mum, isn't it? You're just supposed to talk about how much you love your kids. Right, back to writing. Liam will be home in half an hour, so see how much I can get done between now and then. Liam and I have come out on a date tonight because Darcy's with her dad tonight. So we're going out for tapas. Babe, I can't walk the speed you're walking at. It's like you're running a little race there. Um, but to a different tapas place because we usually go to the same one which is my fave but oh there it is oh no that's Tommy's fish and chip bar which I'd be equally happy with uh, we're meeting our friends Esther and Raj for tapas and I tell you if they don't have padron peppers at this new place I'm gonna flip a table because that is what I want this is where we're going La Terrazza moment of truth we're gonna see if they've got padron peppers but Liam just we're in the surprise. I said it before I turned my camera on. Thanks, babe. Um, it does have Padron peppers. <laughs> Pimentos de Padron, famous green peppers from Galicia, simply fried and served with sea salt. We asked for some olives for the table. <laughs> They've been very, very generous with this, like, the tiniest pot of olives you've ever seen in your whole life. <laughs> I can confirm that these are 10 out of 10 Padron peppers. I haven't tried the rest yet, but can confirm, 10 out of 10. We've also had an upgrade on the olives and alioli. You are updated. Right, we've finished. Esther, thoughts on the terrazzo? Because we're very loyal to... I forgot what's called. Les Olives. Les Olives, yes. Les Olives. What did you think to that? Out of 10. Let's do atmosphere first. Didn't... Two. Not high. Oof. So I'd say four because it was clean and fresh. Food, 8 out of 10. Liked the food, liked the food. Mm -hmm. What did you think? Are you a bit tipsy? Seven. Are you a bit tipsy? No, it's not. I'm just I'm eating struggling a mint. to walk. I'm eating a mint. I've got like seven out of ten. It's pelvis problems. There, from is, the pregnancy. there is no place like there's olives, quite frankly. No. No, let's just be honest. There is no place. Amir, we're yours forever. We love you. Love you. Love He's you. not even watching this. Love you. Is he the manager or the owner or both? He's the owner. Him and his brother own it. Oof. Alex and Amir own it. 
<laughs> they've put their blood, sweat, tears and grass into it. For it. If into you're it. in Northampton. Right, let's stop touching because I think your boobs are touching Ooh. me now. Oh, gosh. No, it's actually your handbag. What do you mean? It's your handbag that's touching you. Well, how far low down are well, your tits? Because <laughs> <laughs> my bag is in. I've had three children. Oh, that was a boob. <laughs> that I've was... had three children, they're quite low. Oh, they were your oh, knees. That was a boob. They did it on. <laughs> right. Oh, that was a boob. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, it's Friday and it's not even the morning, it's the afternoon. I am off to a PTA meeting, um, which uh, I'm quite excited about, I've done the agenda. Because I chair the meetings, as chair of the PTA, um, I thought it would be really motivational to put an inspirational quote at the bottom of each agenda. So I'm going to see how that goes down today, because either people will really like it or people will think I'm a massive bellend. I'll let you know how it goes. Meeting went well, picked up my doodles, gonna go and get my hair. I've got two of these. Two. Because my mum's got one. Yeah, and we are excited to eat those. Um, and I've got my laptop so I can do some work. You gonna play? Where's my car keys? I might tidy up the hairdressers uh, like last time. I'll see it loves to clean the hairdressers. <laughs> That's because I love to t tidy the house, That's why. Do you do, you do like tidying. I'm just gonna look at the out of the window, okay? Bye. Oh my god, the cats are being so cute. Let me show you how they're sitting. I don't even know why they're sitting like this. They're sat like on top of their cave. Hello babies. And you're just on top of him. Hmm? I love you. In case anyone is interested, this is the progress that we have on the puzzle. Liam stayed up till 2 a.m. last night. He's obsessed with this. I don't think we can have puzzles in the house again because it's gonna like seriously damage our, it's gonna break us. It's gonna break us. I've decided I hate puzzles. Friday, Friday. We are going out to get fish and chips and I could not be more thrilled at this development in the day. Really, really want some like really good, I can't open the door, really good fish and chips with some vinegar. Oh my god, it's so excited to put it on the mouth. We've just nipped to Tesco to get some um, cat litter actually. And I picked up this for Darcy for, how much were you? 14, 18 pounds? I think that's such a lovely dressing gown. If they'd have had it in adult size, I'd have bought that and it's so soft. When you're this pregnant, all you want to put on is giant sacks of cloth. And this had some pink on it. So for £12, it's like, yes. Okay, I think I'm going to call it a night there because I want to put on the giant, giant nighty of joy and have my fish and chips. And we're going to watch Mulan together, all three of us. Um, and yeah, I've got to get an early night because I'm going to London super early in the morning for a talk at Brit Mums. Um, so yeah, so that is the end of the weekly vlog. I have no idea what I filmed this week and if it's going to be any good, but we'll put it together and soon see. And I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Um, don't forget Hello World tickets are available. My new book is available and blah, blah, blah. Links below. Lovely lots. Bye.